so at the same time yeah. you're saying there's no there's no such thing there's no such thing as a free act mm -hmm. there's also no such thing as a determined act then yeah it's in a way in a way it's almost like determinism is short-circuited it's almost like um, a mobius strip it's like you're derailed you experience um an absolute shaking of your being so for example a cat never thinks what is it like to be a cat right mm. but a human thinks what is it like to be a human so we enter into this space where we feel like we experience what Kierkegaard calls the dizziness of freedom, where you feel like there's opportunities and choices and you don't know what you should do. Mm. That, for someone like Kierkegaard, is freedom. It's not what you do, it's the experience of, of not knowing. It's almost like what stops you mm -hmm. oh, from moving. It's, yeah. it's what kind of decenters you. I like that. Yeah, like so. Uh, when I think about a cat, uh, for an example, they don't have free will because they're constantly just going after their impulse. Yeah. I need to chase this thing. I need to chase my tail. I need to eat. I need to. Yeah. Where we have the opportunity to stop and consider the act or whatever feeling we have. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah. like it's like something comes into our world that, that allows us to do that. Because mm -hmm. the question is, why are we like that? And yeah. for Kant, you can call it the law as well, but the categorical imperative is like something inside you where you feel, as I say, it's that feeling that there is something, for example, that you should do and have no self-interest at all. Like it's, it's no, you, you may never do it. We, maybe it's impossible to do it, but it's this sense in which there is, there is a call, a law, a demand mm. that, that it, Kant calls it non-pathological. What he means by that is not dictated by your pleasure and pain, not dictated by any of that. And it's just the feeling of it just the feeling of it in your being mm. throws you for a loop. It mm. just, it kind of like just spins you into, and consciousness can be seen as the result. So th this is a way of saying almost, that's why I say you don't have freedom, you are freedom. Mm. It's like the short circuiting of biological reality causes the consciousness to arise. Mm. And consciousness is the, uh, the experience of freedom. That's why I'm, uh, sorry, sorry, Sartre says we are condemned to freedom. He says like, you can't escape it. To be conscious is to be, f is to experience a type of not knowing, a type of uncertainty. Mm. Um, so freedom is a, it's a feeling. Is that, feeling. is that kind of what you're getting at? Yeah. Oh, in fact, okay. yes. It's I like a very that. specific feeling. This mm. is so, so Kant says that and then, and then Kierkegaard comes along and he says the feeling is anxiety.